What a banner year it's been for AAC VPR. With a robust and actionable strategic plan in place and a board dedicated to making it happen, we've reached extraordinary milestones. The members of AAC VPR are at the heart of everything we do. This past year, we grew our membership by over 5%. We've also added several more state affiliates to our joint affiliate program, providing their members access to everything AACVPR offers, both locally and nationally. On the education front, the popular staff competencies for core components were expanded this year, adding four additional modules in diabetes management, tobacco cessation, psychosocial management, and weight management. Now with seven topics and available CE, this series is essential for those preparing for program or professional certification or those looking to improve staff training. We introduced our new exercise prescription modules with four e-learning components including pre-exercise assessment, developing the exercise prescription, the exercise session, and telemetry. And we've hosted nine webcasts with more than 1,200 attendees. In addition to more than 250 Capitol Hill visits at Day on the Hill last March, we introduced a workshop covering the ITP with invaluable information about avoiding pitfalls with Medicare and CMS conditions of coverage. 47 people joined us in person, more than 200 virtually, and over 250 people have purchased the archived session. Our program certification committee has been hard at work this year too. This cycle saw more than 600 applications and there are now 1,614 AACVPR certified cardiac and pulmonary rehabilitation programs. And now we're making sure all programs know that mandatory reporting of outcomes and performance is part of the 2018 certification cycle, bringing even further credibility to this esteemed designation. The cardiac and pulmonary outpatient data registries will be paramount in helping programs report this data with automatic inclusion of information on program certification applications. With 447 cardiac and 193 pulmonary subscribers at the end of our last fiscal year, it's clear programs are really seeing the benefits. More of our individual members are exhibiting their value by earning the CCRP designation. With 595 current certificates and more taking the test throughout the year, we're seeing a huge demand for this among our members. AACVPR is launching a new initiative called Roadmap to Reform. This will be tools and strategies to help programs adapt to new bundled payment models that will include directives from the Million Hearts Initiative's Cardiac Rehabilitation Coalition. And of course, this week, you're here at the 31st AACVPR Annual Meeting. A year such as the one we've had, punctuated by amazing keynotes, dozens of breakout sessions, workshops, roundtables, and networking events. We are all poised to get energized, get educated, and make a big difference in the lives of the patients we serve. Thanks for all you do for the organization, and most importantly, your patients.